so let's begin so in this video we are going to make a drafting of a rotor blade okay as we have done in bef in previous video we have designed a helicopter rotor blade in a cat v5 so in this video we are going to make a drafting of it so as we start before if you haven't seen the video just click on this i button so coming up next uh, before starting this, this session, I recommend you to have a cup of a tea or a coffee as it helps to focus more and to understand better. Okay, so coming up next, we are going to open a KTV5 software. Okay, then just uh, I'm just showing you again. Just open that file that we have saved, saved before. Okay, so now scrolling up, hide this three. Okay, so you see the complete rotor blade. I'm just changing the view mode. Okay. So one more thing, if you don't have this file, you can download it from the description link below. Okay. So download that file and open in your Kata Viva software, hide these three things and go for mechanical designs and uh, drafting okay so as you see here the format is a4 sheet okay and the view is front bottom and right view okay you can go for this also okay and now the scaling is one ratio one okay so i'm just going to click hit okay so as we can see here the our sheet is is this much and our design is so much so much big so what we need to do is we go for scaling okay select this three press ctrl on your keyboard and select this three go on properties so as we see here on view the scale is one ratio one so we need to change that thing so the one ratio one should be changed to one ratio 135 35 okay so what this do is it will shrink the size and uh, make it adjustable with the page okay so as we see our views are so much separated so we need just need to drag the things to the page like that okay same this way also Now adjust the things as per your needs like that. Make sure it all fits in a page. Now we know that the the scaling is one is to thirty five, so it is displayed on this picture. Okay. So it helps the user to identify the things and make things better and easier. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need a 3D shape of it here to display the how the component looks like after rendering. Okay. So for now we are going to import that thing into here. So as you see, there's a multiple views you can see here. So I'm just going for our, our isometric view. So select it go on the window change the change to the rotor blade so we enter into our module so now we need to just adjust the view as we needed select this thing so it will automatically come into the our drafting module i'm just dragging it and now again doing the same thing Okay, go for 35 or go on 30 because it will fit on the page. Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, I'm just going for properties, changing the um, view to the raster generation mode. So it will see 
so we can see the actual shading with the surface I'm going for high quality and uh, shading with edges okay hit uh, hit the apply button okay so as we see it's very simple and clear so the basic part is done okay so what we need to do is right now giving, giving the dimensions so giving the dimension is a very crucial part so follow follow the steps and uh, be more careful while doing this thing okay so we are going for this command called dimensions okay so what we need to do is just click on it it will automatically display the dimensions so as we see it's 49.92 okay so what we do is go for properties change the numerical value to be round up up to 1 apply so it will give us 500 okay so as we know as we have seen in the previous video of mine this and this is same and this is also a same so what we need to do is change only just measure, measure this one you can go for anything okay like the distance between two and the distance between the angles or the anything you can just uh, make sure you are doing the same process here and going for the step for the very cut this part going for the very precise things here cut this thing also so changing the fraction to be decimal and it should be one okay so it will display as 400 mm okay now we are going to measure the length of it so what we need to for do this is what we need to do is just select this one and press a control button on your keyboard select this one and then again this one so it will automatically make things like that and again same hit this one and the second one the, the dimensions are displayed over here same process again So as we know, this is our central axis here in the Kata V5 module of a, of a surface design. Okay, so we are measuring the distance from this axis to the end of it. Okay, so so this is our basic module. And now, for more details, this is our right view. Same process. This is also give the same dimensions. Okay, so in this case, we don't need this one because it, it doesn't have anything. Okay. So the main only is one, this one and this one. Okay. So if you if you wish to uh, check the angles or any kind of radius or this thing, so all things are like the commands are displayed over here. You you just need to click on it and select the dimensions. Okay. So as we want to measure the angle dimensions between these two, so we can go for here also like this. Make sure you are pressing your control button on your keyboard. Okay. So like this, if you wish to change the size of it or make it smaller, you can go for also like this dimension text extension lines. go on font you can put on or your own like this hit apply button so it will come down or it will shrink so i'm just going for, for my value that is 2000 oh it went okay going for 2500 mm Okay, like this. Drag it if you want to push or move it here. Like this. Okay. So I hope you like this video and uh, share with your friends or your colleagues. Okay. And if you want to see more content, you can visit my channel and 
you, you can see the many things are up, up here waiting for you to learn and excel in your skills and, and in your commands okay so and for now going for the save as button you can save this thing as a pdf also or, or a ti file also so i'm just going for um pdf file pdf file so it will save as a pdf and if you want to see this file opening it so as we can see it looks very satisfying and very elegant so one can use this as a for reference while designing in kata v5 as well as they can use it as a as a blueprint okay so that's it for now hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel this is the list you can do and see you for the next time happy learning and stay safe